Why choose the right method? Did you know that choosing the right farming method for your greenhouse can increase your yield by up to 30%? But which is the best fit, soil-based or hydroponic farming? Let's dive into the details in today's video. Overview, soil-based versus hydroponic farming. Short comparison of pros and cons. Soil-based greenhouse farming, pros, lower initial costs, ideal for long-term crops. Cons, requires regular soil management and pest control. Hydroponic greenhouse farming, pros, saves water, increases yield, clean environment. Cons, higher initial costs, requires technical knowledge. Factors to consider before choosing. Space, soil-based, requires larger areas suitable for traditional farms. Hydroponics, works well in small spaces, optimizes vertical farming. Example, a 10 square meter hydroponic system can grow twice as many vegetables as soil-based. Budget, soil-based. Lower costs, needing only soil and fertilizer. Hydroponics, requires investment in pumps, sensors, and nutrient solutions. Tip, if you're a beginner, start with a small hydroponic setup to test its effectiveness. Crop type, soil-based, ideal for long-term crops like coffee or fruit trees, hydroponics, best for short-term crops like lettuce or watercress. detailed pros and cons. Soil-based greenhouse farming. Pros. Easier to start with basic tools. Works well in areas with fertile soil. Cons. Soil degradation over time, requiring frequent amendments. Higher risk of pests and weeds. Example. A tomato garden in soil requires organic fertilizers every three months. Hydroponic greenhouse farming. Pros. Produces two to three times more yield in the same area. Conserves water and doesn't rely on soil quality. Cons. Complex systems prone to risks like pump failures or power outages. Demands technical expertise. Example. A system failure in hydroponics can damage crops within 24 hours. Tips for beginners. Advice. If you're just starting out, consider these points before deciding. Choose soil-based farming if you have fertile land and are growing long-term crops. You want lower initial investment costs.
Choose hydroponics if you have limited space and aim for high productivity. You are ready to invest in technology and learn the techniques. Tip. Combining both methods can be the best way to maximize efficiency. Both methods have their own pros and cons. Consider your goals and resources carefully to make the best choice. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe. What's your biggest challenge in greenhouse farming? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for your watching and see you in the next one.